to the Marathon Elementary School ribbon cutting ceremony. It is really nice to be here today without a hard hat on. In the last 18 months as you've driven up Hayden Rose Street, you've watched as bricks and mortar replaced enormous piles of earth, which replaced felled trees. Our dedicated educators are what makes our district so strong and so special. Providing them with the right tools in the right space will enable them to take off in whole new ways. Key to the success of this project has been a collective commitment of time, effort, and dedication which has yielded this magnificent school. We had, as you can see, and when you go through the building, you see we had the opportunity to have incredible artisans working for us from the from the brick masons to the landscapers to the people that did the, the concrete work to the people that did the floors to the people that provided us with the 32 different paint colors inside this building. It's just a phenomenal building and the process was so eye-opening to me as a, as a member of the committee how everybody in town came together from town meeting and I remember Mike Shepard up there telling you how important it is for you to vote for this and I may or may not have been a little skeptical He's, he hit the nail right on the head. This is, this is great. It represents our community coming together, respecting one another, and listening to one another to get what was right for our, our town. What a great day this is. Uh, and what an honor it's been to serve on the committee with these fellow citizen volunteers and professionals the past five years. But on behalf of the Massachusetts House, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to the Marathon Elementary School and the Marathon team in recognition of the joyous and momentous occasion of your ribbon cutting and open house today, your outstanding commitment to Hopkinton students. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and extends its hope for future good fortune and continued success generations to come given by the speaker Speaker DeLeo, um, as well as Carolyn Dyke, my state representative. You and I also have a citation, so if you can come up and uh, give you one from the Senate, similar, a little different though. It's a Senate citation, and it reads, <laughs> be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to Hopkinton Elementary School Building Committee in recognition of the joyous occasion of the Marathon Elementary School ribbon cutting. Uh, and we extend our great you know, best wishes and continued success. It's signed by Harriet Chandler, Senate President, uh, and myself, Karen E. Spilka, as Hopkinton uh, Senator, and it's dated today, June 9th, 2018. Congratulations. And that's when you know a project went well when the, the, you know, the consultants that you folks hired have so much respect and esteem for each other. And to that, I just want to congratulate the town because we didn't choose, MSBA didn't choose these consultants, you folks did. And you did a great job and that's the result of doing a great job. There is, there is no school in the United States and I would argue the world that has been able to build a quality institution that embeds the spirit of Marathon in its very foundation. There is none. This is a very, very unique situation. I'm, I'm honored to be here with you to celebrate another bridge of friendship, the Marathon Elementary School, a cultural and educational uh, bridge that will unite Marathon and its cradle, Greece, with Hopkinton and New England. On behalf of the Greek government, I would like to express my uh, ex uh, appreciation and uh, gratitude for all your efforts. I praise your decision to name this school after Marathon. It is thanks to the Battle of Marathon that ancient Athens remained free and democratic. It allowed the, the cradle of modern civilization to develop and the basis of modern education to spread. And now you have here the Marathon School, which is a new beginning and a way forward for generations of some very, very fortunate kids in Hopkinton as they begin their educational journey here. The, uh, the wreath that you see in front of you uh, is a wreath that's been fashioned from an olive tree in, uh, in Marathon, Greece. Uh, the process is pretty simple. It's, uh, it's dipped in gold. This is the same wreath, the similar wreaths that are given to the winners of the Boston Marathon. They have, have been presented the last few years. But Lauren's promised to put, uh, put this in the, uh, in the showcase in the front as a way of solidifying the connection between Hopkinton 
Marathon Greece and the sport of marathon. There's a lot of talk about this school being the start of a marathon for our future students and the start of their educational journey. And that's really true and it's a really good analogy. And there's a great poster over in the HPTA tent there that says uh, finish line. And to me and to many of us here today, it feels a lot like uh, finishing a marathon. With that, I think we're ready to cut the ribbons. Is everybody ready?